In the last video in our series concerning vector analysis, we had introduced the directional derivative and we worked an example. In this video, we'll work another example of a directional derivative problem. This is the equation that we derived in our previous video. This tells us that the rate of change of a scalar in the direction of a tangential vector t is equal to the projection of the gradient vector onto that unit tangential vector. And we worked an example with a three-dimensional service in the, in the uh, previous video. We'll take another three-dimensional example in this video. Let's say that we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals some constant c. So this is a spherical surface now. The scalar involved, that's this, which obviously is a function of x, y, and z. Our scalar is equal to a constant, so it gives us a three-dimensional surface. In this case, it's a sphere. Now suppose that we're standing on the sphere and we're at a point P. And this has coordinates 1, 1, 0. And we want to move to another point Q that has coordinates 2, 1, 1. So we're going from P to Q. As we do that, what is the rate of change of our scalar as we're moving in this direction from P to Q? So imagine that we have some surface on the sphere. Here is point P, and here is point Q. What would be that vector? So the i component of that vector would be 2 minus 1, that's i. The j component would be 1 minus 1, that's 0. The k component would be 1 minus 0, that's 1. So that's the vector pq. And the unit vector pq would be this divided by the square root of 2. So the unit vector pq has this expression. Now we're at the point p. The scalar will have a gradient associated with it. We can get an expression for it. Then evaluate that gradient at the point p, 1, 1, 0. Then take the dot product of the gradient with the unit vector pq, and that will give us the rate of change of this scalar moving in the direction from point P to point Q. So we know what the unit vector PQ is, and that will play the role of the tangential vector T up here. Now we need to determine the gradient for our spherical surface. So that means we're going to be taking three partial derivatives of this. Del psi will equal the first partial derivative will be with respect to x. Of course, that will give us 2x times the unit vector i. Then the second partial derivative will be with respect to y. That will give us 2y. times the unit vector j, then the third partial derivative 
with respect to z gives us 2 times z times the unit vector k. So this is the gradient of our spherical surface and we want to evaluate this at the point p 1 1 0. So x equals 1, y equals 1, z equals 0. So at that point the gradient is equal to 2i plus 2j. Now all we have to do is take the dot product of this with pq. So we have our gradient vector at the point p. Take the dot product of that with the unit vector pq. So that will be 2i plus 2j. Take the dot product of 1 over the square root of 2 times i plus k. This right here is the unit vector pq. So let's see, we have 1 over the square root of 2 and then we have i dot i is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, j dot k is 0, so we have 2 divided by the square root of 2, or that equals the square root of 2. So when we take this dot product, this dot this, it equals the square root of 2. So that tells us then that is the projection of the gradient vector onto the unit vector pq and that tells us then the rate of change of our scalar when we're moving in the direction from p to q. And that's it. That's the end of the problem. So hopefully that was worthwhile. Um, the playlist for these for these videos concerning vector analysis, you can find the playlist at the website digital-university.org.